Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big P here, yeah. you know don't you, you know. Right, straight in with it, no messing about. Trainers sniffing about fighters that are being trained by other people. Hmm. It's a bit of a it's a bit of a taboo subject in boxing this because nobody talks about it, but it does go on. For example, it starts off with a little tweet. You saw Ben Davidson's tweet, didn't you, to Shannon Courtney at the weekend? That's how it starts off. Maybe Shannon replied by direct message. Then they have a conversation on the phone. I don't know, I'm just surmising. But that's how it works. That's how it started with Dave Colwell, didn't it, Dave? When you were sniffing around Dylan White last year. That's how it starts, and that's how chinks in the armour appear, appear. Because what happens is, people on the outside start, start saying things like, well, Dylan, you want to be doing this, or Shannon, you should be doing that. When it's up to their own trainers to do that. I mean, some I heard this morning about Dominic Ingle, he's another one talking to other people's fighters. Well, how is that allowed? Why ain't nobody saying anything? Hey, could you imagine if somebody were texting Yui Fury, another trainer? Do you think Peter Fury would put up with that? So why should other trainers put up with it? Because these trainers are in with certain promoters they feel like they can just talk to who they want. It's called poaching and tapping up. I personally won't put up with it. I won't put up with it, and I know other people who won't put up with it. It's wrong. Get your own fighters from debut and start afresh. Or get them when they you know, just had an handful of fights. Don't be nicking eggs out of other people's nests like cuckoos. Alright, I don't agree with it. I never have agreed with it. And it's wrong. Alright, and it usually ends up in tears. Or usually ends up with somebody getting a backhander. Because that's what should happen really, shouldn't it? Because it's sneakiness at its worst. Alright? downright sneaky all right if you want to compliment somebody you do it via a direct message you don't just put it on twitter i mean who's ben davison trained from beginning he and he just thinks he can slink into boxing and just jump in on people that are already doing well and in the, on the scene go and get somebody from debut there's no shortcuts to success you tried it with tyson fury and you ended up on skid row all right we know what happened there don't we Go and get your own fighters, you're young enough. Keep telling people you're a great fighter. Go and do it. Don't go nicking other fighters or putting things out on Twitter. It's sneakiness and it's insulting to Shannon Courtney's trainer that she's got at the moment. It's not good. And Coldwell, as for you, well, we know what your game is, don't we? So, all right. Peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing. Shout out Innovation Alloys.